Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to our live prayer broadcast. Once again, I've lit my candle. Um, it's getting less and less visible these days, isn't it, with the with the light weather? But worry ends where faith begins. Uh, it's great that you could join us. Remember that you can use the comment box for us to pray into later, or even pray along as we're uh, mentioning opportunities for you to bring people or to bring um, bring situations before God during the prayers that uh, we're having. We're going to read from Psalm 40 in a minute and sing the old hymn, O Love That Will Not Let Me Go, and uh, the chorus, The Steadfast Love of the Lord Never Ceases. So shall we start by singing this old hymn? Um, might seem a bit melancholy, but I think it, it, it picks up the great thought that God never lets go of us, whatever situation we find ourselves in. Oh, love that will not let me go, I rest my weary soul in thee. I give thee back the life I owe, that in thine ocean's depths its flow may richer fall. That followest my way, I yield my flickering torch to thee. My heart restores its borrowed ray, that in thine sunshine's blaze its day may brighter fair. joy that seekest me through pain i cannot close my heart to thee i trace the rainbow through the rain and feel the promise is not vain that morn shall tear us be And liftest up my head I dare not ask to flee from thee And I lay in dust life's glory dead And from the ground there blossoms red Like that shall endless be So if you've got a Bible, you might want to turn to Psalm 40 and read it along with me. I'm reading from the New International Version. It's a Psalm of David. It's a Psalm that talks about waiting patiently for God. It tells us that God listens to us. But I think at this time, you know, when we're praying into this situation, it's, it's easy to, um, you know, feel, gosh, we keep in praying. And are we seeing the answers we want to see? There are answers, but we're not seeing them perhaps as quickly as we'd like to. Jesus told us to keep asking, to keep knocking, to keep seeking. And that's why we meet every evening at seven o'clock to pray. But this psalm talks about, David tells us to wait patiently for God. Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and he heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. And he set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He's put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, O oh Lord, my God, are the wonders you have done. The things you plan for us, no one can recount to you. Were I to speak and tell of them, there'd be too many to declare sacrifice and offering you did not desire but my ears you have pierced burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require then i said here i am i've come it is written about me in the scroll i desire to do your will O oh my god your law is written within my heart 
I proclaim righteousness in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips, as you know, O Lord. I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and salvation. I do not conceal your love and your truth from the great assembly. Do not withhold your mercy from me, O Lord. May your love and your truth always protect me. But troubles without number surround me, and my sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They're more than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails within me. Be pleased, O Lord, to save me. O Lord, come quickly to help me. May all who seek to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, aha, aha, be appalled at their own shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And may those who love your salvation always say, the Lord be exalted. Yet I am poor and needy. May the Lord think of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Oh my God, do not delay. Amen. You know, God hears us. Sometimes we have to wait for those answers, but he's there. Let's pray. Lord, I pray that you would help us not to give up in prayer. Help us, as David learned, to trust you in the dark and dangerous times that don't feel safe. Those times when we feel alone or we feel unable to cope with life. Draw near to us, Lord. Give us your peace. Remind us again of your great salvation in our lives. And we pray and name before you those in dark and dangerous and difficult places tonight. Those who we know who are struggling at this time. Those perhaps who have never known the light of your salvation. Lord, have mercy. Hear our prayer for them our friends and our family. People we're thinking of right now, people we're naming before you. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. And think about dark and dangerous and difficult times, Lord. I want to bring to you other countries. And uh, things are terrible in Europe, but we know that things are starting to get difficult in Africa and Asia too, in parts of Asia that haven't been yet as affected as, uh, as China. Lord, we pray for those countries without the infrastructure to cope with this situation. Lord, we're struggling in the West, in the developing world. Lord, they need you. They need your help. Have mercy, dear Lord. We pray in our own country for the supply line and the resources to get to the right people at the right time, particularly to care homes and to hospitals, to nurses and doctors, to ambulance workers and people on the front line. Lord, hear our prayer. Spread your protection over those who need your help tonight, we pray. Particularly, Lord, I want to pray for those who are self-isolating today at this time. Pray for parents, maybe single parents or carers with children who are struggling just under the pressure of, of keeping them happy and keeping them content in, in, in a time when they're bound to feel restless may be worried or frightened by what this is. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer, Lord Jesus. I, I pray that you would um, particularly work with those who have got vulnerable adults at this moment and children in vulnerable homes. We pray for peace. We pray for safety. We pray particularly for those also who are facing this alone. Maybe have very few people around them. We pray for those who are caring for loved ones at home with little support. And we name these people before you now. We pray peace. We pray your protection. We pray for good health in Jesus' name. Lord, help us.
to wait patiently. Even those who are restricted by the, the conditions that we face in this country uh, of lockdown, help us to wait patiently in this storm for you. And Lord, come to our aid, we pray. David said, may your love and your truth always protect me. And I want to pray for some of the people who have been named um, on this list and others that I know of tonight. People who are suffering from CV-19 in hospital at the moment. Uh, Esme, Marika, Steve, Lord, we bring them before you and others that we know. Let's name them now. People you might know of. Father, we pray for your healing. We pray against the effect of this virus in people who are struggling tonight and pray, Lord, that you would reverse the effects of this virus in their lives. In the powerful name of Jesus, we speak healing. We're praying for people with other health conditions who are affected by this. And I particularly bring Tony and Evelyn to you, Lord, but there are others. Father, in Jesus' name, heal, strengthen, bring your peace, bring your light into these situations of people who have other health problems that, that are, are really just made worse by the, the lockdown that we face at this time. And we once again pray for people who are working in health and, and in care work. We bring Shirley before you and other care workers and Adam and other ambulance drivers. We bring doctors and nurses before you now when we learn them before you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, particularly those who are frightened at this time, for teachers too. People concerned in any profession where they have to go to work and yet they're worried about the consequences. Lord, be, be their peace as we name them before you now. Be their salvation, be their protection, we pray. In Jesus' name, and bring other people who are ill with CV-19 at the moment, but not necessarily in hospital for Phil and for Ben and for Michael and for Linda. Lord Jesus, please, will you watch over these people and will you bring your healing quickly, we pray in Jesus' name. David said, be pleased, O Lord, to save. Come quickly to help those in need, we pray. David also reminds us that many are the wonders that God has done. And, and Lord, we thank you for the wonderful things you've done in our lives, for the miracles we've known, for the blessings we've known, for the stories we've known of your salvation. People who we know have met you in extraordinary ways. And I want to pray at this time for signs and wonders to follow, uh, Lord, your presence as we pray into these situations. As we pray into the darkness, may light shine. May health come. May you speak into people's lives, Lord. Father, we pray for miracles of salvation. We pray for miracles of healing. We pray, Lord, for miracles of change uh, lives, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you by the power of your Holy Spirit, who is always active in our world, to be particularly active at this time. When gross darkness covers the people, Lord, I thank you that your light comes and breaks in. And we pray that your light would break into this now in Jesus uh, Jesus name we we say with David Lord you are our help and our deliverer do not delay we pray for your deliverance and your help in Jesus name we pray against the spread of this infection and we name the areas that we are thinking of tonight could be the areas we live in could be the city we live in Lord we pray your protection over family members as we name them before you now over our friends over our communities. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for, um, for what you are doing already in people's lives. And I pray for more, Lord. Lord, we need to see more of you at work in this world today. And Lord, we're longing, longing to see the manifestation of your presence in hospitals, in care homes, homes, in factories, in shops, on the streets in people's lives in jesus name we pray and with the with the psalmist lord we exalt you with david we say you are high and mighty and lifted up and glorious and you are over all 
and you rule and reign over all, including over this virus. We declare your majesty and your lordship over COVID-19, and we pray, Lord, you'll be done, and your kingdom come in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we say the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let's sing those verses. Of, uh, they're from Scripture, from the Book of Lamentations. But a great reminder that God's love never ceases. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. So we say the grace to one another. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Sleep well. Amen. <laughs>